It smells like something died in here. And that's even before we open the door to the stench-filled bug chamber. This is all birds in here. And these guys are, look, you can hear them. The fried chicken I had for lunch is starting to seem like a bad idea. But let's not let the aroma of death slow us down. So is there a particular kind of bug we're looking at here, John? Yeah, we have Dermestis maculatus. It's an African domestic. Dermestis maculatus? That's Latin for skin eater. These bugs have famous appetites. French biologists first used them in museums in the late 1800s. And the ones here, in both larval and adult stages, all belong to a happy family of beetles that have munched through Smithsonian specimens for over 70 years. Now, how did you guys decide not to use some form of uh, chemical cleaner, or is that because it would damage the bones? Right, uh, chemicals are expensive, and then there's toxic waste problem in a lot of things. And yes, they, they will t tend to cause damage to the bone. Um, it, we, we, we want these bones to have a shelf life of indefinite. You know, want them to be in that drawer forever. Osteoprep, fast, permanent, environmentally friendly. These guys can't believe their luck. They're like, I like to eat, and I got involved with the Smithsonian, and man, yep. they just feed me all day long. Yep, yep, government workers. They're really, <laughs> they're really, they, they've got a good deal. How do you keep track of the bugs? Does somebody bring you in a collection of fresh bugs? Do they no, the, populate the, themselves the, yeah. and pretty much have a steady population? Right, they have sex. Hello. So they, yeah. Yeah, so, so we, got, uh, we had a little death, we got a little sex in right, here, John. We're doing right. good. So they lay a lot of eggs. I see. So they will always increase their number to whatever amount of food you have in there available to maintain that population. They increase so rapidly that they have a tendency to escape their confines. One of the reasons this is a separate building away from the collections is it's just hard to control the bugs. They sure. fly, they get around, and you don't want them getting into the collections. Another reason we're isolated is the odors. People didn't really like being around the odors so much, so there's a number of reasons why I get to work all by myself out here. <laughs> I see, I see. You don't mind the smell of death? 